How you guys doing? Thank you for joining me on SB252. So we got some baseball trade news that just came out. Evan Lingoria, who's been on the Tampa Bay Rays for the last 10 seasons, all of his career has now been traded to the San Francisco Giants for their top prospect, Arroyo, Crook, and also Woods, and I believe another player as well. So a trade for the Tampa Bay Rays, a big-time player for them. He's a, a franchise cornerstone. We all remember back in 2008, he led one of the best rookies of all time, led his team to the World Series but came up short against the Phillies. So this is a guy who has been at it for a while. Well, now we're going to another team, the Giants, who used to be a championship-type team. We remember they won World Series in 2010, 2012, and 2014, but just aren't the same as what they used to be. Only got 64 wins this year, had 98 losses on the season, and they also had the least amount of home runs in the whole MLB. And remember, this year in baseball, they were the most home runs in history. So somehow in a historical year, the Giants found a way to be in a position where they had the least amount of home runs. And they were 23 short of the team that had the second least amount of home runs. So it wasn't like they were even close from having, you know, the second least amount. They were by far the worst team at home runs. Well, they bring in Evan Lingoria. He has over 250 home runs in his career, over 800 RBI. So maybe he might be able to help him out in that position. He also has gotten the Silver Slug Award uh, one time and gotten the Golden Glove Award three times. And we're also talking about a three-time All-Star as well. So we're talking about a guy that has experience, but to lose your top prospect, Royo, you know, for a 10-year veteran, might be a little head-scratcher to some people, but at the same time, the Giants are trying to do something with this squad. You know, they want to be able to move forward. They want to be able to go back to these championships, and they're getting a guy who played for the Tampa Bay Rays who went 80-82 and 82 last season. So they figure... You know, they figure the past is the past, and they also want to go to the future as well. So two teams that want to come back to relevancy and want to figure out a way, but they are going in completely different ways in order to do so. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me here on SB252. As always, I definitely appreciate you guys joining us. Baseball news, once again, talk to you guys later.